Uh, Let's be honest, it's Saturday, and I forgot to record a vlog for Friday. So I'm recording the vlog for Friday right now. Yesterday was an interesting day. Good morning, internet friends. How are we doing today? How are we, guys? How are we, Sassy? So, I... Let's be honest, it's Saturday, and I forgot to record a vlog for Friday. So, I'm recording the vlog for Friday right now. And this will be posted, and then, of course, I'm going to record today's vlog, and yeah. So exciting! So... Yesterday was an interesting day. So, you know, went interning. Interning was well. Well, went well. Ugh. But I got hit in the face with a fennec fox. If you don't know what those are, that's the world's smallest fox. It's about the size of a chihuahua. Um, I was helping the keeper give medicine to them. She was catching them and applying the medicine, and I was getting the medicine prepared. Well, one of them, trying to run away from the keeper, launches off of a rock... And I turn, and I just happen to turn to look at the keeper, and fox head collides with my head. Don't worry, the fox is okay. As am I. Because yes, that was the first thing I thought about was the fox getting hurt. But don't worry, we're all fine. But yeah, that was that was interesting. Never thought I'd get hit in the face with a fox, but it happened. Um, <laughs> had to pop my ears. Sorry. Uh. So, got off work, and then drove home, picked up Tyler, because he was going to go to Battlegrounds to do magic. I didn't actually get to stop at home, which I didn't like, but oh well. On the upside, I had plans to meet my grandparents for dinner, so yay! Um, so, dropped off Tyler, went to Panera Bread, which is delicious, I love it so much. And then, I waited in the parking lot for a while waiting for my grandparents to get there and while I was waiting I did a live stream on my close enough cosplay Instagram which that's always a fun adventure and after like 30 minutes I thought my grandparents would call and be like you know we're here well they never called so after about 30 minutes I was like okay well I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go see if I can find them it turns out they were inside the restaurant waiting on me and <laughs> that was fun but, yeah. So we hung out, ate food. Sorry if the camera's a little shaky. I'm trying to balance my arm with my other arm because my arm's getting tired. Um, but one of my favorite things that happened last night, and I don't mean it sarcastically, I'm being serious. So, I don't remember how it came up, but my grandmother, just out of nowhere, asked me, like, how does anxiety feel for me? Because she knows I have it. And so I explained it the best that I could. So for me, anxiety a lot of times feels like my brain is full of static. Like I know I'm anxious about something. I don't, well, I, well I'm, I just know I'm anxious. I don't know if it's about something or not. Sometimes like actual clear thoughts will go pew, pew, pew. And then panic attacks, they can vary depending on, like, I can have a little one that just makes it much harder to breathe and I can't focus, up to I am floating and it feels like I am not really there. So, yeah. And then I admitted to my grandparents that why I have MRL is to train him to be a service dog. I was worried about what they would think because, I mean, I've never really explained my anxiety or anything to them. And to find out that their granddaughter needs a service dog, I thought I was concerned. But they were perfectly okay with it. Like they were asking, okay, well, what it's like, what is he going to be trained to do to help with your anxiety? And like, um, can he naturally alert to your anxiety, which he's learning? And then I was explaining how dogs can smell certain things. 
Um, cause they were talking about a guy who had a diabetic service dog and I'm like, yeah, he smelled that the guy's blood sugar had dropped. Like, cause there's chemical changes. Um, what are you doing goofball? You're so silly. You are, you're silly. And at one point they were like, you know, whenever you move out, like some people that you rent from won't let you have a dog. And I'm like, ADA law says I have to have my service dog. They legally cannot deny my service dog. So, ha ha. Um, but yeah, that was a great conversation. We, of course, talked about a lot of different things. And then I went. I didn't feel like going back home and then going back across town to pick up Tyler, so went to Battleground, sat in the parking lot, and ended up Skyping with Ariel, Alex, and Ari, which was so much fun. And then got my brother, came home, got dogs taken care of, and Skyped them some more until like 1 in the morning. So worth it, though. I don't usually stay up that late, but it was very much worth it. I really miss seeing them and talking to them. I wish I could see them in person, but as you guys know, Tifton is five hours away. And, yeah, no. Money and time and just all sorts of things. So, yeah, that's about all that happened Friday. It's not really time for bed, so I'm just going to sign off on this one and move on to tomorrow's. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is, when you talk, like, when you admitted to a family member or a friend about your disability, like a mental illness, physical illness, whatever, who were you the most surprised, well, who surprised you the most on how well they just understood? For me, it was my grandparents. Put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow.